The House Rules Committee voted on a party line vote about an hour and a half ago, nine to four, to send the articles of impeachment to the House floor tomorrow, allowing a total of seven hours of debate and specifying that no amendments can be offered. Freshman Democratic members of the House who won their seats in previously Republican districts continue to announce their support for the articles of impeachment. Here is one of those freshman House members, Congressman Tom Malinowski, at a town hall on Saturday in New Jersey telling his constituents how he will be voting. Based on the evidence that I have seen in the depositions, in the hearings, in the documents I have seen, I believe that on the two counts of impeachment that have been put before us, that the vote should be yes, and I will be voting yes. Joining our discussion now on the eve of that historic vote is freshman Democratic Congressman Tom Malinowski of New Jersey. He's a member of the Foreign, House Foreign Affairs Committee. And Congressman Malinowski, uh, we heard some boos in there, some disagreement, but uh, obviously majority support uh, in that group, more than a majority support in that group. Uh, did you get a chance to talk to any of the people uh, after that uh, town hall who disagreed with your decision? Well, I spoke to them during the town hall. The, mm -hmm. I, I, I deliberately called on people who I, I, I saw booing or sitting down at that point because I, I wanted to make sure that they had a chance to be heard. Uh, and, you know, I, I've, heard, I've held about 32 of these town halls since I was elected last year. Uh, large ones like this, there were about 400 people there, smaller ones. And, uh, you know, there's one thing that virtually everybody I represent agrees on, and that is that this decision on this issue has to be made based on what's right and wrong, not based on politics. And, and I think you know, the only political point I would, I would make to you based on all of the interactions I've had back home is that if I didn't vote my conscience, I wouldn't deserve to be reelected. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, leader of the House Republicans, tweeted, for the Democrats, and this is you, for the Democrats sitting in districts that voted to send President Trump to the White House, if you vote to impeach tomorrow, you will be defying the vote of your own constituents. And I want to read a reply to that tweet, uh, Congressman Malinowski, from uh, political reporter Ron Brownstein, who has been covering uh, uh, Washington for a very long time and certainly was around for the Clinton impeachment. And he wrote back uh, to uh, Congressman McCarthy saying, in 1998, there were 91 House Republicans in districts that voted for Clinton in 1996. Almost all of them voted to, and he uses uh, McCarthy's words here, defy, defy the votes of their constituents by impeaching Bill Clinton. Over the next two elections, 98 and 2000, just seven of those 91 Clinton district Republicans were defeated. And it seems there is some mythology around uh, impeachment politics and the notion that uh, the Republicans were damaged by the Clinton impeachment. But in fact, uh, they held on to their House majority very easily. Yeah, and, and you know, that's interesting, but it's also irrelevant to me and to most of my colleagues. And I think this is something that President Trump just cannot understand, that there are all of these members of the House, including some who came from districts that he won, who are making a decision based on what is right and what is wrong. And I think the, the rant that we got from him today, the six-page screed at Nancy Pelosi, reflects his utter bewilderment. That, that he just, he, he doesn't know what to do with these people, with us, who, who are simply saying that what he did was wrong, regardless of the politics. The, uh, uh, Speaker Pelosi has more than enough votes now, uh, especially the, the freshman Democrats uh, who have more than put this over the top. How much uh, pressure, how, how much working the vote has been happening among Democrats uh, on the impeachment articles? 
virtually none that, that I have seen. This is a choice that each of us have come to individually. As I said, I've held 32 town halls. I know my colleagues have been doing the same thing. We've been talking to each other. We've maybe been leading by example, those of us who, who are out first, but I've, I've detected no pressure whatsoever from Speaker Pelosi or anyone in, in the leadership. People are, are honestly being guided by their conscience here. And, and I think that's the source of our strength going into this. And, you know, I think when, when you say guided by the crunch, there's a lot of people out there who just don't believe it. They think everything uh, is party pressure uh, on both sides. Uh, but I think, maybe having worked in the Senate myself, there are these moments where I know, and I don't know that we could convince uh, uh, civilians of this, but there are moments where the vote really is just left to the member and the member's conscience. Well, that is absolutely true here. And, you know, I mean, these, these people are, are saying on the one hand, oh, you're going to take this vote and you're going to lose. And on the other hand, it's just your party telling you to do it, which is ridiculous. Uh, the party would not be telling us to do it if, it if they thought we would lose, right? So it's obviously not politics. This is the most sober moment that we could possibly face as members of Congress. And, and none of us chose to be here. And, and you know what? I'm going to go home uh, this weekend and next year, and we're going to keep talking about this, but we're also going to talk about all the legislation that we have passed for the benefit of folks in my district. We, you know, this, this week we are, we're passing the U.S.-Mexico trade agreement, which is an extraordinary achievement. The first major trade agreement in modern history that is supported by the AFL-CIO and the Chamber of Commerce. We passed the budget today to fund the government, to keep it open. We passed the defense bill last year. All of the things that McConnell and the Republicans said that we couldn't do while we were impeaching the president were doing. And, and, and again, I think Trump just doesn't know how to handle that fact because it, it, what's his argument now? Congressman Tom Malinowski, thank you very much for joining us on the eve of this historic vote. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.